Add a little bit of downward, for you Mr. Spear, add a little bit of downward pressure. A little downward pressure as you're coming in, so he doesn't bounce back up. Any significant or major questions that were causing you to not be able to get the technique? We don't want to spend too much time on it, but if you, if you really could not get it, how much time do you sort of wait when you've got the parry and the radio <clears throat> do you wait one second or is it supposed to be a pretty fluid without any other extenuating circumstances it's going to be lock and release lock so and release. as as quickly as you can release the pressure from that initial impact the quicker you can get around sure. there isn't there isn't any other particular reason why you would delay you're not waiting for any other reaction from the person. It's a good question because sometimes you need a reaction in order to deliver the next part. That's one of the reasons why there are speed changes in common. But in this case, it's a lock release unless there's some other factor. What are you doing with your breathing relative to this move as you're entering to avoid pushing the person away? There's a, it's not overt, but there's an inhale to an exhale <clears throat> and tension and an inhale to an exhale and tension. Okay? And without getting too sidetracked, it's, it's a great question and one that I'm particularly passionate about and it goes hand in hand with mobility. Again, thinking of loading up your stance with an uki and you're, you're holding weight here. We typically think of inhale, exhale all the time. Inhale, exhale. What we don't talk about enough, and we will, is when you keep the breath. It's one of the purposes of the Buki breathing. It's to restrict the airflow, and you actually want tension when you're loaded. You don't want to be exhaling while you're carrying the load. So if you think of, again, another just almost a silly analogy or metaphor, but it's very easy to picture if you just Picture a soda can or beer can and it's open and empty and you put pressure on it, it's, it's going to flatten top to bottom. If, you, if it's full and closed, you have, you have that stability while the load is, is pressing on that. Okay, so if, if, you are, if you're here and you're, you're the can and you're loaded with weight and you exhale and even if you have a uh, sense of kill grind, for example, does some very heavy squats. He's got very strong thighs, and for some of his stances, crumbles if he, gets, if he gets low enough. And aside from the obvious alignment and technique, it has more to do with breathing 
than probably any other factory. So you want to fill it up, hold it, and then yeah, exhale into the technique. And it'd be the same thing here. 